The hunt continues, folks, to complete the Funko FNAF AR Mystery Mini Set. Hello, everyone, and as you can see, I've got not one, but two Funko FNAF AR Mystery Mini full display cases. Oh, I can just feel the hype flowing through my veins. So, if you think back to my last video, my last unboxing of these FNAF AR Mystery Minis, that was two weeks ago now, wow. And, as you remember, if you think back to that, I only happened to get three of them, because that was all that they had left in stock. But, as you can see now... Oh boy, I've got way more than that. Anyhow, in that previous unboxing video, I pulled these three. I got System Air Toy Bonnies, the 1 in 6, 8-Bit Baby, and Toxic Spring Jump, who are both 1 in 12s, which I was very, very happy about, and I'm glad I got no duplicates. Ever since I unboxed these three minis this time two weeks ago, I've been checking the same old Tesco's almost every single day. I'm not even kidding. And every single time they had been sold out. Last Monday, Monday's typically the day when they stock these. I went there, they had the new display case there, but they had already all went out in just the course of half a day. They had already sold out, which was crazy. However, thankfully it was all made worth it whenever I went yesterday, which was Monday, and they had not one, but two entire full untouched cases. So the way I'm going to operate is I'm going to open one full case today and then one full case tomorrow for a different video because opening 24 of these in one video will be pretty, pretty ambitious. I've also got 12 more on the way from Forbidden Planet and they're due to arrive on Thursday. So that'll be me coming at you three days in a row with full cases of FNAF AR Mystery Minis. All right, enough talk and let's get to the decision. So which case am I going to choose to open today? Ah... Uh... I'm right-handed, I'll go with the right case. Bye-bye. There's one last thing, let me remind you of the rarities, because it's been two weeks now since we've taken a look at these. We've got four 1 in 6s, High Score Toy Chica, System Air Toy Bonnie, VR Toy Freddy, and Radioactive Fox. I'm guaranteed going to get a load of them today. I'm going to be getting two of each of those. We'll begin duplicates of 8-Bit Baby and Toxic Spring Drop, as they're 1 in 12s, so means they're in each case. For the 24, so in this case, this very case, I will be unwrapping either Frostbite BB or Mangle. Of course, you know I want Mangle real bad. And then the other slot um, will be either Black or Bonnie, Heartsick Baby, those two are 36s, or if I'm super lucky, I may get Livewire, Toy Freddy, or Arctic Ballora, who are a whopping 1 in 72. And for those wondering, the three that I want the most would be Livewire, Toy Freddy, Blackheart Bonnie, and Mangle, especially Mangle. That's like my number one top. I want that Mangle so, so bad. And the fact that I've got a 50 50 chance here of getting it today is very, very exciting. So without further ado, let's get started with this first box. All right, let's hope chances on my side today because I'd love to get some incredible polls, especially in terms of 24s and 72s. If it's Mangle and Nightwear Toy Friday, that would just make my day. That would make, I don't know how long. Oh, and also, I never showed you these. This might be my first unboxing with them, but look at this. I got a new pair of scissors. Look at that, not too shabby at all. Got red accents and all on them. All right, mystery mini number one. Any predictions? Uh... I'm just going to throw in my bets and say we're going to kick it off with a 1 in 6. Not go too crazy just yet. That's to come later on. Oh, this one's great. Uh, of course, I'm not going to feel it. We're just going to open up and see what's in it. I'm going to open it. It's like this. There we go. Who is it? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Oh, if it baby, if it baby. Oh my god, I almost had it. My heart sunk for a second. I thought that was my goal. All right, if it baby. Already got if it baby in the last unboxing. Of course, there's one of these in each case, one in 12. Very nice. I'm not going to go over this because I already did in my last review. All right, let's get into box number two. I'm going to throw bets on Toxic Spring Trap for this one since we just pulled the other one in 12, who's if it baby. And in many cases, and um, with Funko Mystery Main cases, they put the one in 12s beside each other. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go all in and say for Toxic Spring Trap. We'll stuff to see in a moment here. All right, I love how easy these are to open. Like I remember older waves had like low, like real, like hard glue on there and it'd be so hard to like, you practically be peeling the box apart in some cases. Right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yep, exactly. That's what exactly. Toxic spring job, over one in 12. All right, so we already got him in the last unboxing as well. So actually just duplicate so far, but these, you know, are these are meant to be in every single case as they're one in 12s. But toxic spring job, I already looked at him as well. Let's move on. All right, let's get straight into it and number three. Hopefully we can get into the new finds now, all right? Unless it happens to be System Air Toy Bonnie. I guess it's pretty likely since it is a one in six, but hey, maybe, maybe we can get another one in sixes first, you know? All right, let's go, see what we got. Ah, it's so satisfying, so easy to pull that off. All right, let's hopefully get that ball rolling with something brand new, all right? Let's see what we got in this time around. That's number three. Hmm, again, I'm not really gonna feel for it best just to keep the hype going and just pull it out and see what you get let's see let's see 
we got here? What do we got here? Yo, it's out black. Yo, black or Bonnie. Oh yes, look, black or Bonnie. This is one of my top three. So we are going to talk about Blackheart Bonnie because this is the first brand new poll from the video and you know I'm beyond satisfied with this poll. As I said at the start of the video this is one of my top three most wanted and I'm glad I got this over Heartsick Baby because I think this is the much cooler one in 36. You know he's one of those skins I don't think about often but when I do it is a really really nice skin. I really appreciate it especially by, like the heartbeat signs and all in the workshop. I think that's a really really cool touch and it looks really good. He's even got those red accents as well on the body just like he does in FNAF VR and it looks really really good. Again it's kind of with that translucent sort of feel to it just like the rest of the set but it works well with blackheart bonnie because in the workshop itself and in the game you know it is pretty translucent character now they did forget the heart in the stomach which is kind of like one of the um key things of blackheart bonnie because black heart bonnie but they don't have the heart on there which is a shame but overall though it does look really good look you've even got glass cracks on there as well which is nice detailing and again as i said it's the one i would have preferred of the 36s if you look here as well, they even removed the upper teeth, which the original Bonnie Mini had, so I'm glad that they actually did, you know, take pride in the accuracy and finally remove them, because I don't know why it's such a big issue with FNAF merch, with the upper teeth, but it is. Some of its own minor is often, you know, looked down upon, and look, look at this, even some detailing on the arm there as well, so overall, very satisfied with Paul, definitely the best one so far. So, maybe this one beside it will be the 24, let's find out. I'm especially excited for this box now because we just pulled the 36, so maybe, I, I know, I know like it's kind of speculated on whether there is a box pattern or not, but that's what I aim to find out with these two cases and then, you know, this third one I have, I'm not sure if they'll actually send a case or they'll just send 12 of them, I'm not too sure, but, you know, if there's a general trend between this one and the other box, I think it's safe to say that there could be some sort of pattern going on, but I have watched a load of videos and there doesn't really seem to be one, like they've all got totally different results. Hey, come on, let's see. Is this actually the 24? Or is it just one of the sixes? What do we got? Oh damn, this one's hard to pull out. <gasps> oh, it is the 24! Frostbite Balloon Boy! Now, not quite the mangle I was hoping for, which I would have preferred, but we still got that other case. The, the 24 was beside the 36. Coincidence? I think not. Wow. This one is incredibly detailed. Look at all these spikes and all. Right, let's get into it. So we're here, we have Frostbite Balloon Boy, the 1 in 24 poll from this video. So unfortunately, those last 8 are just going to be for the 1 in 6s, but that's still exciting because I do only have one of the 1 in 6s, which is System Air Toy Bonnie. Now, also remember, as we go on, the unboxings are going to get a lot quicker and we're just going to whiz through them because, you know, I've already re have had reviewed all of the 1 in 6s and the 12s, so tomorrow's unboxing and going forward will be a lot quicker, so we'll just get straight into it. So anyways, Frostbite Balloon Boy, again, another super accurate figure, really nothing to complain about here it's, just, it's a really unique sculpt you've got all these spikes here as well actually are kind of pointy he's got the sign as well avalanche and yeah it's got the translucent kind of feel going on as well which hangs cool i mean the color could be a little bit better it looks more like gray but still looks really good and look at the face it looks just like frostbite bb look at this little horror so yeah, again, another very detailed sculpt of all the crystals in the stomach there, and even all the spikes in the balloon there as well. They really didn't miss out any details there. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the mangle pole that I would have preferred, but, you know, we still got that over case, and it's very 50-50 and whatever. I'll get another Frostbite BB or mangle. I'm thinking, though, since um, they had two cases, I'm wondering if they're going to, like, if it will be, there, oh, there'll be both of the 1 in 24s, or they'll be the same. Maybe it will be Mangle, because, you know, they're both two cases supplied at the same time to the same store, if you know what I'm getting at. Who knows? But anyways, so now we're going to get on to a 1 in 6 galore. Let's get into it with number 5. So if this is System Air Toy Bonnie, we won't need to review him. So there is two slots here that I'll just whiz through, because they'll be System Air Toy Bonnies. But I'm hoping, you know, I, all of these ones, I wonder though, uh, it's a radioactive foxy I'm not super hyped for. I already seen one myself anyways. I remember telling you about in the old video how there was actually a fourth box when I got those three, but it had already been opened by someone trying to figure out who it was, and it was a radioactive foxy, so I didn't take it because I knew that I'd be getting a million of them anyways. So let's see, who is going to kick off this one in six fast? Hopefully VR Toy Freddy would be nice. I love Toy Freddy, man. I'm just a thick bag. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <gasps> yes, the VR Toy Freddy. Wow, I am just a genius. Oh, wow. This actually looks really cool in person. Look at the VR headset. 
Having this up close in person now, I might have to say this could be my favorite of the four one and six figures. I know I haven't got Chica yet, but I, I don't know. We'll have to see. I know I think I did say in the other one that System Air Toy Blind was my favorite, but because of the fact that these look so translucent. But when having it in person, it's really not that bad at all. And I really like how the colors look. I think it looks really good. Especially around the head with that very dark, you know, accent of purple going on. And something I think is really cool, especially when you compare it to the action figure. You see how the whole circuit pattern going on there? I think it's like so much more obvious than the mini than it is in the figure. And the figure, it's very faint. You gotta kind of look closely to see it, but while it's in the mystery, it's just right there, you know? I really don't have anything else to say. And there's no point dragging it on, just stating the obvious. I think it looks really good accurate and it looks like toy freddy and i'm happy with it so next one uh, maybe it'll be the other vr toy freddy we'll still have to see i'm really trying to figure out if there is actual an actual pattern or trend to this because i know a lot of people are speculating about that okay let's go see if my assumption is right and if this is actually the other vr toy freddy i can i really kind of think there could be a, a, a trend going on so let's have to see all right is this going to be VR Toy Fair? I actually hope it is because... I, oh, oh wow, this one's actually awfully... Oh, that wasn't that bad. It must have been the way I was opening them from. Okay, I'm actually hoping this is the other VR Toy Fair because I would really like to have that cleared up and I think it'll be good for there to be a pattern. Really, really helped me help getting the last of like the 1 in 6s... Or the 1 in 72, sorry. Because it's going to be difficult. Oh, God. Wow, what is going on with this package? What do we got? Is it going to be the other VR Toy Friday? <gasps> it is! What?! Here's the other VR Toy Fray. I really am starting to think that there is some sort of, yeah, you know, pattern going on. Because typically what they do with the boxes is they have all those one and sixes beside each other. And here is the other VR Toy Friday. Interesting. Okay, we now move on to the bottom row where we're going to have two high score toy chicas, two radioactive foxies, and two system air toy boys. Now, really interested to see if they're going to be placed beside each other. Because if they are, then I think we really got something going on. And then when we open that other box, we'll... Never display case them. We can, you know, see if that's confirmed or not, or if they're just in random spots. So, again, we're going in with a one and sixes. That's what's going to be the remainder of this box. But of course, we are are, are going to be getting a couple of new ones. Because I only have System Air Toy Bonnie and VR Toy Freddy. All right, let's go. Which one is it? And it's Bonnie, System Air Toy Bonnie. All right, so already got this in the first unboxing. No other words needed. So I'm just going to YOLO it. And I'd like to bet that this one would be the other system or Toy Bonnie then. Since it's placed right beside it. Again, I'm not going to be too confident with the whole there being a box pattern. Because I'll probably just be, you know, I'll stand up disappointed. But it's even kind of likely. Especially the way that the 12s have been perfectly beside each other. VR Toy Freddy's were beside each other. The 24 and 36 were also beside each other. Which is the trend that like previous display cases have followed. Such as like the security breach and pizza sim and all that jazz. All right, is this the upper Bonnie? It is the upper Bonnie. I, I can really sense something going on here. We'll have to have that confirmed in, in, in uh, of our box. But yep, we've got the two Bonnies. We now move on to the final four. So again, I'm hoping that these are going to be both the same ones beside each other. What's exciting is that, you know, these two last unique figures are ones I don't have. These are the other two sexes. So Chica and Foxy haven't got either of those. So there's going to be something to look forward to. So let's just get straight into it and see which one this is. Open it's Chica, and I feel like it might be Chica because Freddy and then Bonnie, and then you know the order you would set in would be Chica and then Foxy. So I'll just YOLO and say it's Chica. Oh, it was Foxy. All right, radioactive Foxy. Oh boy, the one we have all been waiting for. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. All right, there he is, the one that I've the one I've been shatting on for like oh god two months now. There he is. I have him now. Now, I will give it credit where credit is due. I do think it is really nice that, you know, I really thought the translucent thing of it would be a lot worse. It's really just the hands and the ears and that's it. The rest of it, the color looks really, really good. And actually, surprisingly, very accurate. But the face, come on, it looks dead awful. He has eyebrows. He has a normal eye that isn't just yellow. He's got eye eyelashes as well, so he's justifying himself. It just looks plain stupid, okay? Oh, boy, this is the only mini from the wave I, I don't really like. Um, here's a full 360 if you want. The back of it looks really good. It's just where the front goes. Of course, it's the face. That's where Funko always funks up, you know, with a face. I mean, it's decent. It sort of looks like Radioactive Foxy, but could have been so much better. Okay, we'll just move on because I don't want to dwell too much in that strange little character. So, this other one I'm hoping is the other Foxy. And then we've got the two Chicas. Nice. <laughs> New style of plastic. Oh, there we go. 
it's not that bad like it's pretty cool and it, it is saving plastic and that's like that's something we really gotta do all right of our foxy question mark i'm saying it's pretty likely so let's see of our foxy yes over foxy aha so the last two are definitely the high score toy chicas okay so we're at the point now where this isn't even a mystery mini unboxing it's just high score toy chica unboxing because we don't know who it is so let's just get into it you know and again this is one i don't have so pretty looking forward to it you know so let's go high score toy chica time let's go yeah i looked in person even though I've already saw videos on it, just, you know, with my own eyes. And there it is. I score to a chica. That's four or right. Feet. Okay, and here we've got High Score Toy Chica up close and personal. Again, I think it is a very good one. I'd say all of the one and sixes look really, really good, except for Radioactive Foxy, but that's beyond the point. So again, it's it's on point in terms of the color. You can get all those glitch effects going on there as well, which is really accurate. Colors on point, as I said. And I also got to say, I really appreciate how on even the tiniest of merch, even that pocket bob as well, they included the cupcake, which I totally understand how hard that would be like to paint and do so well. So very impressive how well they were able to do that. Really the only issue issue with this is i mean the translucent is also not really a problem on this the only thing is the fact that it has pointy teeth i get i know that's like a stylized choice that a load of mystery maids do and previous fnaf ones have done but the fact that the other three sixes in the wave aren't going for that like vr toy Fair has normal teeth no i think it just looks odd you know and then here we've got just the three sixes because i almost forgot to do that again nice with all those um you know we checker details on there all the wee pixels Okay, and then we already know the last one is going to be the upper high score toy chica. So, I'm just going to go ahead real quick here. So, it does seem to be that there is actually somewhat of a pattern. We'll have to figure that out when I open the other box. So, high score toy chica, let's just get that out real quick. Because we already know. Don't waste much time and just go ahead. Yep, there it is. The upper high score toy chica, as expected. <laughs> And here we've got today's poll. So we got Blackheart Bonnie and Toxic Spring Drop. Here we got all the sixes, all the six duplicates. And then we got Ape Baby and Frostbite Balloon Boy. So I'm very satisfied with today's polls. And then hopefully in the next case, we'll be able to finally figure out if there actually is a pattern or not. We'll have to see if they're in the same spots. If they are, then I definitely think we're getting at something. So there you have it, everyone. And I'll see you soon with the next case. Finances, biology, type cures in the back. Seems crap. Really thinks down fuck chances and anomaly. Scheme of my machines is what I need going in the fiend With my team of supreme laboratory atmospherically Fit that bitch asleep like I was just a dream Cobbler's my role for a work and routine